Pisces couples, this is Amber with Lives in St. Tarot. This is your reading for January 2018. It's a new year. <laughs> so your oracle card <clears throat> for this month is wedding. This, in this involves marriage, this situation. Okay. Now, for some of you, you are in a marriage. Okay. You also have the solar plexus. And this talks about you revitalizing your marriage, okay? There's a need to revitalize it um, because of, I'm hearing neglect for some reason or another, okay? Um, this could also be you trying to push someone to marry you because you're ready to be married, okay? Within a relationship. But I feel it, it, it's interesting because it feels like someone has made a decision about what it is that they want and the other person is not quite sure. And it's like you're trying to make your will be done. Okay. I'm interested to see what the cards say. On the bottom of the deck, you have the five of swords. There it is. You're competing to get some attention. Okay. And it's very interesting because it feels like I don't really care what the other person thinks. This is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I want. Okay. The death card comes up as well. That was also in the singles reading. So that talks about you trying to transform a situation or make it better, but you're also making it known what you want. You are fighting for this. And I feel like the other person is conflicting with you. Um, <clears throat> the other person It feels like do or die. Um, you know what it feels like? It feels like one of those Hallmark movies where um, people are fighting, but in a childish way to get things done, kind of like Parent Trap or something like that. That's what it kind of feels like to me, okay? So in the past, you have the strength card in reverse. This talks about a weakness, a weak point within the situation. It talks about somebody also lacking self-confidence in a situation and they want more of a commitment. Yeah, they want more, they want more of a commitment. You, and I feel like it's you, or if you're dealing with another water sign, it's them, but I really feel like it's you and you're, it's like, you really want this change. You're codependent on it. You're dependent on it. You need it. You need to know that it's an option. You have definitely made that decision with the two of swords in reverse. You've made that decision and your thought, this is what you want. There is no standing still. There is no maybe later, maybe next time. You know, it's something that you want now, okay? You definitely want to feel like you have some control. You're very demanding about what you want. You may be pushing your partner to marry you or pushing your partner more towards marriage, okay? The, the problem is that they haven't been given it to you. This, this form of commitment that you really need. You want to make sure that everything is set in stone. This is what you want, especially with the 10 of pentacles. You want to make sure everything is fine. You want to make sure, um, your job is going well. Your life is going well. You're just in that energy where you want that, especially for the new year. Okay. So you're definitely trying to heal a situation. Um, you're trying to have patience and you're trying to let the universe takes its, take its time and be patient. Um, not that you really want to, but you don't have a choice. That's what I'm getting here. You had three cards fall out. They're all in reverse too. Okay. So you don't feel like there's any growth. 
Okay. You feel like, uh, you've, you've been shot down for what you've pr you're proposing or what they are proposing. Okay. Like there isn't any growth in the situation and you're reviewing the situation. Is it worth it? What do I need to do? How can I make this happen? Okay. But you have opposition with the tower in reverse. Okay. This talks about someone not ready to make the change. This talks about someone fighting you, especially with that, um, five of swords on the bottom of the deck. Someone is fighting you to give, you know, to, to make this change happen. So it's not, it's not like you have a choice. I feel like they're telling you to be patient and you're trying to be patient or, you know, it, it's interesting because the magician wasn't an upright. So I don't feel like you're pushing it as much as you could, but you're doing it in a, in a nice sort of way. You're reviewing the situation, thinking about how you can change it. Um, being careful not to do anything rash. Be careful about that. Don't do anything crazy. Okay. Um, because you have someone that's not really, you know, they're not ready. So it almost feels like, well, I'm going to do something crazy. Don't do anything crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you have, you may be dealing with a, a fire sign. Um, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, or there may be a fire sign that's involved that may be a child. Okay. They may be a little free spirited. Um, I feel like they're going out in the world and trying to do their own thing. Okay. And you need to be patient with them because there's something that they're working on for themselves. Okay. They're investing time and extra money. I'm actually hearing to buy a ring. Um, I feel like it's going to be a surprise though. But they need time. They need time to make sure that this is what they want to work for or what they want in their life because it's a really big step. It's a really big thing. So they need time to think about it. And they're kind of like a free spirit and they enjoy being that way. Okay. So you are hoping that the times, the tides will change. Okay. Especially with the will of fortune. Um, you're also thinking that you may have to be by yourself. Okay. Or that you may have to walk away. That's the other thing that you're struggling with. Like, will I have to walk away from this? Will I have to be by myself because they won't give me what I want? But the will of fortune says that your weight, your want, you're wanting things to change. Okay. So the first through the 15th, you have the chariot in reverse, and this talks about them not being ready. Okay. This talks about you not being on the same path, not flowing it with the same energy. It's like you're going against the tide or they're going against the tide, but they're not fighting with you and, or you're not fighting with them because this relationship means something to you, even though you're not getting everything that you want within the relationship. Okay. You're not getting that social acknowledgement. Okay. So 15 through the end of the month, you have the judgment car and that talks about a choice being made. This may be you giving them an ultimatum about a choice or they, they are finally giving you some feedback about you, about you throwing that, you know, information out to them. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they're not fighting it. And okay. The fact that they're not fighting for you or not 
fighting this situation is causing someone to speak out of turn or say negative things. Okay. Be careful about your emotions and the way that you communicate because your mindset is like back and forth. The, the, the mindset is everywhere, either for you or your partner. So be careful because in turn, what this could do is cause trouble within paradise. Okay. Your partner may also say that they're not ready to marry. They're just not ready. They're just not ready and they don't want to fight about it. But I feel like you're going to say, well, I guess we're not on the same path. Okay. So be careful about that energy because in your environment, you have the seven of swords and this definitely is your partner trying to get away with something or someone is trying to get away with something. And that's what I feel like with this this fire energy if you're dealing with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay it's like they need time to recuperate they need time to figure out what it is that they really want okay they don't want to fight you they know that there are some changes they need to make or put an end to things in their life but it's like they're not ready to do that Yeah, this is a big commitment for them. This is a big commitment and a big decision, okay? So in your outcome, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. And I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna bring this back up, okay? And that's what I get for the, the 15th through the end of the month okay is that you're gonna bring this back up because you want some sort of solidity within the relationship okay you want that you feel trapped in your own thoughts and what it is that you believe i feel like you're gonna tell yourself this is what i need this is what i believe this is what i really want to happen okay be careful of a um air sign possibly uh, trying to push you okay like a negative talker or a person in your life saying well I wouldn't let him do that and all that kind of stuff so be careful of that person okay because I feel like you're not in a, a mental space especially with the queen of wands in reverse I don't feel like you're in a mental space to to deal with that and this person is going to be quite an influence on you so be careful about being trapped in your own thought and not seeing things for what it is okay all right okay so for the extended reading i am going to talk about what your partner is up to i'm quite curious about it with this spread um what your partner is up to And, and more about your environment, okay? Because I want to know more about this person that um, you need to, to, to watch out for, okay? So thank you so much for being here. I will see you next month. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.